Hey there, this is Tom Speed T-Tips Footwear Edition. We're talking shoes today. So what's the best shoe for you? Well, are you over or under? And I'm not talking toilet paper. I'm talking pronation. Are you an over pronator, under pronator? Do you have a more neutral foot? Pronation is that rolling inward that happens when our foot impacts the ground. We need some of this at impact. As that foot rolls inward, there's an unlocking that happens in the mid tarsal joint of the foot. Also, as that foot rolls inward, this, there's an unlocking mechanism happening in our knee. So, so the entire skeletal chain unlocks as that foot rolls inward. We need this at impact so that our soft tissues, our muscles, our tendons, our ligaments can absorb impact forces. If we didn't unlock at impact, skeletal system would try to absorb those impact forces and bones are terrible shock absorbers. So at one extreme, we have the over pronating foot. This is the foot that hits the ground, rolls inward excessively. It tends to be a floppier foot, flat foot typically. Too much movement going on with this foot and too much soft tissue stress. This foot needs help from a shoe to limit motion. It needs a firm heel counter in a shoe, a firmer midsole. It needs some arch support inside a shoe to limit motion and soft tissue stress. Other end of the spectrum is the under pronating foot. That's the higher arch foot, more rigid foot. Some people call it a supinating foot. This is a foot that hits the ground and it doesn't roll inward a normal amount. So, so it's a stiff foot. It doesn't unlock well. This foot needs help with shock absorption. It needs spongier materials underneath it to help absorb those impact forces. How this plays out in real life. Well, we go to Disney a fair amount, far more than we should. So we were there 15 or 20 years ago. And, and at the time I was wearing an anti-pronation type shoe uh, like this, uh, I had videotaped in my first decade as physical therapist, hundreds of runners. And, and a majority of those runners were over pronators. So I started to get in my head like, okay, everybody needs some limitation of motion with a shoe. We all need real supportive shoes. So I had my anti-pronation shoe on. First park day, you walk 10 or 11 miles and uh, the dogs were killing, they were barking at the end of the day. They were killing me. Now we were gonna, gonna go into a park day the next day and the only other footwear I had brought with me were my slides. Now these are Jordan slides. These were uh, Nike slides back in the day. So I'm like, I can't go back into that supportive shoe. So I wore these day two, walked 10, 11 miles in these and my feet felt great. I wore these the rest of the week and I had no discomfort. Now foot specialists are cringing right now, uh, but th this has a little bit of heel cup. There is some arch support to this, but here's the issue. I actually have a slightly under pronating foot. It's more of a rigid foot. I need help with shock absorption. I don't need all this motion control. I need shock absorption. So, so this is why this worked for me. So work shoes, uh, you can guess how these shoes are, are gonna go for me. Firm, hard heel underneath this. I wear these for a day and my feet are sore. What works better for me is a shoe like this, a shoe with some forgiveness in the sole, some sponginess to that sole. Again, I get some shock absorption from this. My two Merrell shoes, uh, Top Merrell is a more firm sole shoe. It's got a firmer heel counter to it. Uh, it's better at limiting motion, but it doesn't have as much give to it. It doesn't have the shock absorption I need. This shoe I do better with. This, this shoe, that midsole material has more give to it. Now my wife's situation, she has a higher arch foot, but is actually an over pronator. So she starts in a really high position and then she rolls inward excessively. If you look at her foot and standing, you'd say it's a fairly neutral foot, but there's too much movement to her foot. She does best in a situation like this. This is actually her shoe, firm heel counter, firm midsole. She actually has a plastic orthotic in here to limit pronation even more. So four to five months ago, she wanted to find a new shoe. So we went to the store and she fell in love with these Hoka's. Now there's some anti-pronation features to this shoe. It's a straighter shoe with a lot of material underneath the arch. That tends to fit that over pronating foot better. Also has guide rails around this shoe to limit motion. But the issue with this shoe is the midsole material is super squishy. My foot would love this shoe. I don't know if you can see this. There's even little wrinkles, not these grooves. There's little wrinkles in that midsole material showing that 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 material collapses a lot when you bear weight on it. So she wore these for two or three weeks and she started having problems, had to go back to her anti-pronation, more aggressive support situation setup. My last two points, we have awesome physical therapists at Hulse Jepson Physical Therapy and we offer free consults. You can see a physical therapist for 10 to 15 minutes to take a look at your foot, give you an idea on your foot type and give you some ideas on what you should be looking for in your footwear. Second thing is go shop at a shoe store where they have staff educated in foot biomechanics. Gazelle Sports is great with this. The New Balance store, Striders, The Runnery, Mirrors is a store that also sells dress shoes that has educated staff. There are hundreds of shoe options out there and to find the right one for your foot 
is tricky. You need some help. You get in that right shoe, it's going to help you from your foot all the way up to your low back. 